first series we'd like to explain in greater detail is A Warrior Advances and Retreats. And as the name implies, the sequence is based pretty much around the warrior pose, the strengthening and the stretching of the legs and the lower body. So this posture is more about working the legs, the hamstrings, the groin, and the thighs. And we'll have Susie go through it for us slowly, and I'll try to talk through some of the details and make clear movements that might be a little awkward for a beginner to follow at first time through. To start with, we simply inhale, gathering the chi, palms turns upward, and slowly raising the right leg, preparing to move. And the first movement is a strong movement backwards, and pivoting the feet in the body, lunging over towards this right side. Withdrawing from that, pivoting the feet, lunging over to the left side. Now how far Susie chooses to reach and extend is how hard she wants to work. And then slowly coming up, pivoting, and going over to the right side once again. And as you can see here, sometimes you will choose to over-rotate your foot for greater stability, much like a dancer. Then slowly going to the retreat position, the feet pivot. You bring this arm back and this arm curls by your ear and your elbow drops low to the floor. Then staying as low as you can with your strength, move the body forward, sweep the arms up, shift the weight back, but this time keep the spine more upright. Then using your arms for a mechanical advantage, bring your arms forward, stepping forward, feet together, and arms slowly down. That's the first phase of warrior advances and retreats. And Susie is slowly going into the opposite side. Usually this is done without a break or hesitation. Lifting and extending the foot backwards, turn and pivot. One arm reaching, one arm going back. Coming up out of the posture, deep pivoting to a warrior pose on the opposite side. The stronger you get and the more warmed up you are, the deeper you can sink into the pose. After three repetitions, you pivot the feet and draw the body back, most of the weight going onto the right leg. Then staying low to the ground, working the groin and the lower spine, she scoops forward, bringing the arms and the torso up. She shifts the weight back one last time, but the torso stays upright before advancing to the beginning one last time. And now she's set again to repeat warrior advances and retreats for as many rounds as she feels she, ha she wants to work, building energy and heat to a greater degree each time she goes through the routine.